Hey everyone, it is Vian from Mountain Road Ride here and today we're going to talk Zwift. Um, I specifically want to address this video to those experienced Zwifters. If you've been on the platform for a while and uh, you know just about all there is to know about Zwift, all the different resources you can tap into, um, then hopefully this video can just help you to get to those tools so much quicker. It's all about creating a shortcut for you to get to those resources that you depend on as a seasoned Zwifter just in such a quick manner. Now, what are we gonna need for today's video? Well, you're gonna need an Apple device, um, preferably an Apple iPhone or your Apple iPad, um, because what came along with the addition of iOS 13 is the automation app called Shortcuts that is now built right into this operating system. So with that, it allows you to string together a series of routines or maybe steps, if you want to think of it in that way, that can get you to certain actions much quicker. Like for instance, launching apps, going straight to websites, playing your favorite podcast. All those things can be automated and you can get right to them so much quicker. So let me demonstrate to you up on the screen what we essentially want to accomplish with today's video. After that, I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step on how you can go about creating this shortcut for yourself. But if you are maybe time crunched or just feel like, oh, what the heck, just give me the shortcut, that you can find in the blog post that I'm going to put in the description below. There's a link that you can simply click. You'll walk through a couple of steps as explained in the blog post on how you can add this particular shortcut right to your shortcuts gallery and off you go. But if you do want to see the ins and outs of this particular shortcut, then this video is going to cover that in detail. Let's have a look and see what's going on in this particular shortcut. So up on my screen, you can see right now I'm just on my landing page um, on my home screen and I have uh, added in the widget screen. Now that's important. You're going to have to add those shortcuts widget in there if you want to get to it right away. So up on my screen, you can see that I've created a Zwift tools shortcut. Now clicking on that expands a menu and in that menu, we now have the option to go Either straight to our Zwift companion app, we can launch Discord, there's the Zwift Insider blog that you can get straight to, Zwift Cast, so if you like that Zwift podcast, it's up there as well, um, and a whole host of other tools that I consider as almost essential if you want to maximize your Zwifting experience. I'm not going to go through the whole list, you can see it up there, and I've also written about that a little bit more in my blog post. Launching into the app now, I want to show you what you can create for yourself with this particular Shortcuts app. Now, it's about stringing together a bunch of steps or think of it as a routine that you want to create that if you do certain things, another event will happen. So you can see that I've created the Zwift Tools um, shortcut right there. I'm going to launch into that particular one just to show you what's happening in the background. Essentially, you've got a menu that you pick from and each of those different resources will then be a menu item. That's what you saw on that widget screen. And each of those specific menu items carries an action. And um, those actions will differ depending on the particular resource. So you can see with the Zwift companion app, I want that action to then essentially open the companion app. Um, similar to Discord, it's going to open the Discord app. With Zwift Insider, we're essentially giving it the URL and it then opens up that URL, launching it straight into your Safari browser. With the Zwift cast, it works a little bit differently. Here, you've got to ensure that you already subscribe to the Zwift cast within the podcast app. And now you can see what this shortcut will do for you. It will look up those recent episodes of the Zwift cast and then automatically play the most recent episode. So that's super handy. If you're on the bike, you're already Zwifting and you thought of like, oh, I just want to listen to the Zwift cast while I'm working out. Hey, it's now just a case of swiping in, tapping on that, and it really starts playing that latest episode. No need to dig through your whole podcast library to find that episode that you're looking for. And then with all the other resources on my list, it's a simple case of navigating straight to those URLs. 
So let's now walk through this city shortcut and I'll show you step by step how you can create it yourself. Um, maybe after you've seen all the steps, uh, you feel the need to add your own resource in there, something that I don't even know about. Or perhaps you're a really pro Siri shortcut user and uh, you can uh, take my simple example and obviously extend it up to the max and throw in a really cool few other steps that I might not even be familiar with. If you are a pro user like that, I would really love to hear from you. Do put your suggestions down in the comment section on how I could maybe even improve on my very basic shortcut that you see up on the screen. Now, like a good chef, we are gonna start from scratch. That was sort of the completed product right there, but we now need to go and add it in step by step. So what you wanna do is you wanna create a new shortcut. You can obviously then go into that menu setting right there and give it a name. I'm gonna give this one the Zwift Tools, um, Number two, so just to um, separate it out, you can now also go in, you can change the color of whatever you want that shortcut icon to be and give it whatever sort of a little glyph that you want. So let's uh, give it a, a selection right there. And going in, you now also want to make sure that you add it to your widget screen. So by adding it to your widget screen, it's going to show up on that widget page that I had in the beginning, and it's just a simpler method to access it right away. So with those things in place, we can now start building our steps into the shortcut. One of the things that we want to do is first create a menu to pick from. So this is where you can go into the scripting mode, and here you can see sort of see all those different computer programming type of language or the scripting language that you can put into your particular shortcut. So the one that we're after is the choose from menu. So I'm going to just drag and drop that in there. If you were doing this on an iPhone, it'll also be a case of just dragging it into your screen. And now you can see, let's say we want to add in the Zwift um, companion app then this is where we can add it. Or if as a second option, we want to do the Discord app, then we can add that step in there. And now you can see you've got two menu items popping up or two steps that pop up at the bottom of your, of your list. And now this is where we can go back in. If I go all the way out um, to the different commands that I can pick from, I now have the option to search. So I'm going to just search with open app. And this is where I then find an action where I can open an app. I'm going to again just drag that in. And for both those instances, I want to be able to open an app um, for both the Zwift Companion app as well as the Discord app. And this is where you now need to make sure that you've got that app obviously installed on your device and then you can pick from it. So I'm going to just go in and I'm going to search for Companion app. And there I go. And it's added in. Similar to this one, I can add the Discord app and there we go. Now I have the option if I go out of this, I go to this new Zwift tools that I've created, I click on it, it gives me those two menu items to pick from, I can pick Discord and it will launch straight into the Discord app. Simple as that. Super neat, quick resource that you can access all your Zwift tools very quickly. Now let's look at the, some of the other actions and just for the sake of time, I'm not going to go through every single one. Obviously a lot of them are repeating actions. So if we now just follow, uh, we add another third option in there. I'm going to call this the Zwift Insider option right there. So with that one added in now, I've got a new menu item that is now popped up on my screen as you can see. But with this one, we want to go to a URL. So we first need to supply it with the URL. And this is where I can just search for that. I can drop it down underneath the Zwift Insider action. I can add in the Zwift Insider web page. And now what I want to do once that is added is to open the URL. and drag and drop that underneath the URL. So you're essentially giving it the URL first and then telling it to open that particular URL. So 
If we go back to our example, I click on that, I click on Zwift Insider, and it will launch straight into the Zwift Insider web page. So much quicker to get to a particular Zwift resource in this particular manner. Now, all the other websites that I've shown, Zwift Power, Zwift Hacks, Zwift Hub, um, the forums, all of those websites work exactly the same as this um, Zwift Insider step that I've just given. So I'm not going to repeat that um, in the same manner. You can obviously just repeat that exact same sequence. The only thing that will differ on my list will be the Zwift cost. So let's do that one as well so you can see how this will work. I'm going to create a new menu item as the Zwift cost. Now, what will be the actions that I need under this one? I can go into apps and you can see that particular apps have certain actions already built in. And so if you want to go into the podcast one, you now see all the different options that the podcast app can give you. So for this one, we're first going to look for all those episodes. So I'm going to get the episodes of a particular podcast first. That is what I want to do. And my podcast in this case, and this is where you need to be subscribed to a particular podcast. Um, you can see I, uh, I have my finance ones up there and then I have obviously the main one that you should also be listening to the DC Rainmaker GP Llama one, very good. And sticking with Shane Miller, that's where the Zwift cast comes in. So we've got the episodes up there and now to j not just only launch into the app and open up the recent um, podcast episodes, you want to go one step further and just start playing it right away. So this is where the play, the podcast will come in and it's going to play those episodes that you've already pulled up. So it's a sequence. First it gets all those episodes and then it will just automatically start playing the most recent one. So you are done with that particular step. That's it. Now you can see how you can very easily build your own Siri shortcut right from this app um, and I think it's a super useful tool if you want to launch into those Zwift resources just so much quicker. Great, so there you have it. Those are the steps that you can take to create your very own shortcut and I hope you found this super helpful that you can now go about and maybe create even your own shortcut with resources that I might not even be aware of. So if you did like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel it really helps us out and uh, we'll be sure to be back in the future with more cycling and also Zwift related videos. That's it from my side. I'm Vian from Mountain Road Ride. Until next time, enjoy your rides.